Hello, my name is Adeyemi for Clueless Junkie. I'm going to be showing you how to model a building in SketchUp. For this particular model, we're going to be importing a floor plan. So if it's the first time you're importing an AutoCAD floor plan, so you want to select the AutoCAD file and then make sure you go before importing, you click on these options there and set the unit you're going to be working with in SketchUp. So for this one, I'm going to be selecting millimeters like this and click on OK and then open. And as soon as you have that open, the floor plan comes up like so. So to begin with, you want to click on the rectangle tool and br bring out the perimeter of the floor plan like so. Using the rectangle tool is way faster, way time savvy than using the line pencil tool sorry it take, takes a lot of time so the rectangle tool draws four edges at a time you select the face like so and then pull it up by say 450 millimeters and pull it down and tap control to make a copy of that 100 that is like um, a proactive way of putting a belt around the model so you pull up and specify the height of the building and that is going to be the belt so now once you've done that um, to get rid of those jitters and profiles extensions, you want to go to Windows Styles and Edit and um, take every other thing except for edges. Leave the edges selected. And then um, select the floor, AutoCAD floor plan, the DWG file or DWG drawing and move it up like so using the Move tool. Next, you want to select the model and make it a group so you have a compact thing working with. Um, you want to go into the model by double clicking or clicking as many times as possible to open it up and then once you've done that you use the floor plan as guide and bring out the porch areas and terraces like so delete any adjoining lines or any dividing lines within them so that when you push down with the pull push pull to you push a single face down like so so push that down push that down also as well and that didn't go well you draw a line on any of the edges to have the face to draw have the face in place so now i want to go to model components and select windows if you don't have that in, in your computer you have to go to the 3d warehouse to get some so you place that window like so and drag down and specify the lintel height then cop place um, a door as well then position that correctly click on the end point there, drag down and then match the top of the door to the top of the already placed window if you want the door and the window to share the same lintel that is so you, you can verify that so that works so you want to move that door and correctly position it like so and the swing is right so you may leave that so select the window click on soft on face and copy then click and place on face like so then match the height with the already placed one and correctly position that I want to copy that window to the left and I'll drag along the red axis and hold the shift key then click on this end point to place it and click on that to make extra copies you click with the move to tap control key and then place on other end points move again you click on that tap control and place on the one like so you click with the move to control and place but to copy to another face like this you want to click on the soft face and then tap control and then place on face so here you want to drag down and match the height with the already placed window and do the same for other areas where you have the same that same size of that particular window like so so when you're done placing that i'll make a copy of that to there that's a smaller window so for that case we're going to right click on that window and make it unique why we do that is to scale it down so it means when you're working on this particular component it doesn't affect the other windows like that they are instances of each other so that one you double click and go into it and then make it unique and scale to you make sure that arrow 
it shows left or right shows that so and that shows you click and then click on the width of the window so for the height we draw a mini guy like so and then with the scale tool you want to make sure that arrow pointing up and down shows and click and paste like so lead guide and make copies or instances of that particular component to other areas where you have that same size of window like so so you place you match the window height with the already existing ones you copy it about like so and match the height and correctly position it as it does keep copying that about until you are done placing the windows um there's a door elsewhere you copy that door and place it like so so you want to match the height and correctly position the door and you want you want you'll notice that this doesn't swing right this one swings to the right and the wrong place swings to the left so you want to go right click and flip along left so that corrects that so let me make a copy of that here that's a smaller window so you want to just place position it and then rescale before scaling you want to make make sure you have that window unique so you right click and make unique and then with the scale tool you click and um, rescale the window for that particular size that's on you copy about some place where you have that size of window so the next thing so you don't place in that is to put arcs uh, where you have this um where you have arcways and porches so you copy that line down and then with the push pull so you pull that face then erase any unnecessary lines that, sh that show up so you do the same for the size you select that those lines up and we we'll move to you copy you click on move to then control tap control and copy that line downwards specify the height of the arc arcway and then push pull push 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 pull to pull that face inwards and repeat the same where you have axe and terraces or sit outs and the rest so you push pull to you pull that face and there you raise unnecessary lines and um, next thing do the same thing for the terraces at the back and all that uh, when you're done with that uh, you want to draw the the ram that's for the car to drive onto the porch so we we'll draw the ram like so and select that double click on the face and make it a group to separate it from the existing model it means when you're working with that one it doesn't really affect the model much so you do that make a group then make a copy of that to the other side there's a there's ram both sides of the porch so you flip along to flip that and then correctly place it the next one we'll do the steps with the line tool or the pencil to draw a line and uh, draw it out 600 as two steps so 600 enter then go up draw the riser for the step to maybe 150 or less we draw the thread 300 or more or less and go up 150 for the other step and then that's that so you might want to you might want to draw a nose into the step so click on that 25 millimeters down 25 millimeters about and we can copy that onto the other one then copy um select everything and make it a group and copy that up so you have three steps there so you want to delete those are those demarcating or dividing lines to make it a single face and push pull to you pull that double click on that to repeat the last process so once you're done you click on you select the step and copy to copy move to click click on control to leave a copy and you place that with a rotate to and make sure that blue protractor shows if it doesn't show you go to where it shows and hold down the shift key and then tap on the end points there and then click on like this and then rotate it like so and with the move to move properly move and position this step like so
drag on that ag on that axis on the green axis hold the shift key and then click on the face there so you want to double click with the selection tool to go into the group and um, push pull to to push that face in and correctly match the length of step for that particular arc way or entrance so you want to copy that step about to other areas where you have terraces or entrances and then with the rotate tool you rotate and correctly place go into the model double click and then adjust push pull tool and repeat as much as necessary to have steps where you have entrances like so so you push that phase in and match the length of or, or the width of that entrance and then double click on that escape double click on that face to repeat the last step with the push pull tool once you're done you click out then next you want to close the top of the building it's not this is not really necessary but you just have to do it close the top of the building like so um let's pull that down by 50 millimeters and push pull drag out just push just to have it covered the reason we're doing this is to have um, a single phase on top of the model okay so we need to use the perimeter yeah like so so we'll untick that and then with those other ones selected you want to copy it down with the move to click control and then drag it down and place say 450 and then bring it back up and this is like put a or belt at the top part of the building so I have like a symmetry what's down is up like that so for that door we want to put, an, want to put like an architrave or a trim about that arc so we select to bound those three edges and then with the, with the offset tool we have set that I want to do a little bit of design like an arc around this front part so you do that with the arc tool you draw an arc and then specify the height of the arc like this it could be 200 or more or less and push that area inwards with the push pull tool and select the edges like so and with the offset tool you click drag and then specify the measurement you want you can repeat the same thing here push pull tool select the edges with the offset tool you click drag specify what you want so you can repeat put arcs we want them like so all this is for aesthetics you just have to figure out what works for you and what you like to have so once that's done we want to pull that out and then put a little bit of recess to it all this is for aesthetics no doubt it's like the edges there you pull down pull out and and for the front here you may want to do something of this nature and drag it up a bit in place and then do that and decide to pull it up pull it out and pull that also and then repeat for the other sides where you're on that so you want to copy that parameter outwards like this and make sure um, these lines are single line you know, we'll be using this to make the cornice for the roof then make a copy of that one is going to be for the roof and one for the cornice so for the cornice we draw that upwards and sideways and downwards maybe 75 millimeters it was 100 millimeters down 75 millimeters and copy that move to control and place draw an arc and try to match it to tangent and vertex to have a face there so that will select that and with the follow me tool you click on that face there it didn't come out well so you undo that and repeat follow me yeah that's that came out right face okay so you want to pull that up up so, so that we have the roof plan 35 for the roof page and that doesn't work it means something wrong with one of the edges so you want to undo that and then try to yeah i think that's one we redraw it as, as an individual one so try to go through the other ones see if anyone is going to give any problems with that, like that so click on phase 35 and make that roof so that came out as a heap roof click on it and move it on top of the cornice or the concrete parapet whatever one you call it so 
I'm going to delete, get rid of that. Um, for the roof, you may want to introduce a roof vent, like so. So, with a pencil tool, you draw lines like so and draw to the other side, then you raise unnecessary lines and then repeat the same for other areas where you want to have vents, like so. Erase that and with the offset tool, you may drag that in say, by 50 millimeters and then repeat the same for the other vents. And this isn't really unnecessary, just for aesthetics, I don't really know why I do it, but. I do it for aesthetics here. Yeah. So erase those lines like so, then push that in just to add a little bit of drama to the vent. And to use a ridge cap on ridges, then with the offset tool, you click and drag in specifying 100 millimeters, but then repeat the same for the other faces. Then with the push tool, you want to push it down inwards by maybe 25 millimeters just to add drama to it to the roof. Uh, to add a little bit of realism to it and double click to repeat the last process with the push pull. I'm going to click both and make it a group so when you move then you move that onto the model. So now we we'll probably want to introduce a hood around the windows. So working on one of that means working on the rest. The, the other ones are instances of this component. So we introduce the hood like so, you go into the component or the model and then draw a hood around the perimeter like so. So with the follow me tool, you drag that about to the perimeter of the window and try to over until that shows up like so and then click and erase unnecessary lines off. Working on one of that is working on the rest of windows of that particular size because they are all instances of the component. That's the beauty of working with components, yeah. So repeat the same for the other windows, like so. Um, and for the belts or the trims about the house, you can pull them out by say 50 millimeters or less or more, depends on what you want to have. So you push and you pull out, double click on the belts about, and to have that. You double click until you're satisfied with what you see and do the same with that for this front you want to do something with a bit of grooves to front like so then copy that up select those and copy it up move control and paste then divide that four slash or five slash there yeah enter and you want to push that out to add drama to it a bit pull out double click, double click, double click, pull it out by 25mm or 10mm, then double click on the rest to repeat the last pull process. So I want to repeat the same thing on this side, pull a little bit of grooves to the sides like so, move, copy, place, select the rest and then copy all, up, drag up and paste and divide that. I repeat the same for the other side. Copy that place and all that and divide. I want to pull it out. To Thank you for watching. I hope you found this useful. You can go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more useful videos as does. Um, this was fun.